As you may already know, our JavaScript product line includes support for a variety of development frameworks, including Angular, jQuery, Vue, and yes, React. In this video, I'll discuss our React Scheduler component, a Google-inspired native React UI component library. This control replicates all key capabilities users have come to expect from Google Calendar, including drag and drop and intuitive appointment editing. Our React Scheduler also supports resource management, event grouping, and ships with built-in recurring appointment support. DevExtreme React Scheduler was built from the ground up using React best practices. It fully supports the Material UI React library and offers plugin-based extensibility and customization for outstanding performance across a wide range of usage scenarios. Simply said, its intuitive UX makes it the best choice for those targeting React and Material UI. Okay, with that, let's get down to it and discuss the Scheduler Components UI elements. As you can see on screen, the Scheduler includes three primary UI elements. The first UI element is a timetable, or a time grid on which we display event or appointment information. This timetable includes a current time indicator. In essence, this indicator separates events into past and future. The second UI element is our timeline, displayed on the left side of the schedule. The final UI element is our day scale, displayed at the top of the schedule. Before I leave the scheduler itself, let me point out the all day event cell, located directly below the scheduler's day scale. To help users navigate between individual dates, our React Scheduler includes a Date Navigator UI element at the top of the control. If users click the date field, a calendar is automatically displayed to assist in date selection. Alternatively, dates can be scrolled via buttons. Finally, we've included a Today button to help bring the user back to today's date. At the top right edge of the React Scheduler is a UI element we call View Switcher. The purpose of this button is to give you and your end users total display flexibility when viewing event information within the DevExtreme React Scheduler. As you can see here, this particular view switcher allows users to change between day, two day, week, work week, and month views. By default, our React Scheduler ships with three basic view types. Here is the day view. Here is the week view. And here is the month view. Because of its design flexibility, our scheduler control gives you the ability to customize views as needed. In this particular demo, we've created two custom views, two day as shown here, and work week as shown here. Let me return to the two-day custom view and describe a few more UI elements. Situated between the day scale and the all-day event cell is our grouping pane. As its name implies, the grouping pane allows you to organize information efficiently. For this demo, we've separated event information by individual employee. Flexibility doesn't stop there. The grouping panel can be oriented horizontally, as demonstrated in our two-day view, or it can be swapped vertically, as demonstrated in this demo's month view. Yes, you have total control over layout. Once again, let me return to the two-day custom view and show you our rich collection of built-in data editing forms. I'll click an appointment and demonstrate use of our appointment editor. As you can see, the form appears on the left side of the scheduler. I can either view event information or modify values as needed. If you need to create or modify appointment recurrence patterns, you simply click the repeat checkbox to activate the recurrence section of our appointment editor. Repeating patterns include daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly, each with its own set of custom editors. Pretty cool indeed. Before I wrap up, I want to show you how you'd create an appointment or event with our React Scheduler. I'll navigate to Noah Hill's calendar and click the 9 a.m. time cell. This will activate our appointment editor. I'll enter the subject of the event, specify start and end times via our time selector control, 
and specify room type. And here we go. We now have two overlapping events for Noah Hill. I'll remove one of these events using drag and drop. Simple as that. For a quick snapshot of an event without displaying the appointment editor, I can click the appropriate event to display the event summary pop-up. The event summary pop-up includes event name, event date, time period, and custom fields relevant to this app, employee name, and room number. And yes, I can even initiate edit operations via the pop-up or delete the event if needed. And that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this introductory tutorial on the DevExtreme React Scheduler Control. To learn more, please make sure to visit the React Scheduler's webpage. I've listed it in the description field of this video. As always, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have questions, please comment below.